In this video, I'm going to show you how to check for a parasitic drain on your battery for a riding lawnmower. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the key is not in the ignition. Second thing you want to do is disconnect the negative terminal off your battery. You're going to need a multimeter tool. I picked up this one at the local uh, auto shop for like $20. And we're checking for the current draw on the battery. So in this particular model, uh, black goes to the common and then this particular port does volts, ohm, and milliamps. So we plugged it in there. And then you have your current settings. I just have it set to 20. Then you take the leads and you touch one to the cable and the other one to the battery. And you can see it has a reading on there, 1.49. So that means we have a drain on the battery because that should be pretty much close to zero. Now you just start backtracking the electrical system and start unplugging one at a time till it goes to zero. So this particular mower, there's a 20 amp fuse right here. So if I pull this and do the same test again I have zero which is good because <laughs> I pretty much disconnected all the uh, power to the mower by removing that particular fuse all right we got this big connection here so I'm going to disconnect this and then do the test again. And I got zero. So that means that the drain is happening on this side of the plug. I plug that plug back in and we're back at our drain. Over here where you cannot see is the voltage regulator. I'm disconnecting that. So as you see, I'm just systematically going through, disconnecting one at a time to try to track this down. So we disconnected the voltage regulator, regulator and now I'm at a zero, which is what we want. So I'm hooking the voltage regulator back up And we should be at a drain again. And we are. So that tells me the voltage regulator on this mower is bad and needs to be replaced. Solving these electrical problems on riding mowers can be a little intimidating, um, but hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, there's other videos out on YouTube uh, doing the same thing, different scenarios. There's a lot of uh, forums and posts and articles about it. So hopefully those will help you out as well but hopefully you get you figure out what's wrong with yours and get it so that battery does not drain i thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video